So the next one we are going to see here is half subtractor. Okay, in this video we are going to see the half subtractor. Just like in the previous videos, what we have seen is half adder, full adder, and binary adder. The half adder is used to add two bits. The full adder is used to add three bits, and then a binary adder can add more than uh, it can parallelly add uh, four four bits or eight eight bits, and so on. Now we are going to see the subtraction. Okay, how you can subtract two bits? So for that, for two bit subtraction, we go for a half subtractor. Where this is a block diagram, A and B are input, and the output will be displayed here. So there are two outputs. One is the difference, and another one is the borrow. So what is that difference and borrow? So for example, when you have zero and zero, let me take this as A and this as B. Okay, A and B. Now when you subtract, what is the difference? The difference is zero. And borrow, you are not borrowing anything in order for subtraction. So this is zero, right? Now, now let us take the next value, zero and one. When you subtract this, uh, so here what we do is zero minus one. Zero is smaller number, whereas one is bigger number. So how you can subtract? Say for example, if you take a numerical value, five and seven. When you do this, naturally you will be borrowing some value from this in order to make this as bigger. Then only you can subtract. Indeed. So suppose you have uh, four. Suppose imagine you have four and two here. Now what you will do? You cannot subtract. So you will be getting this and make it as 50, isn't it? Then you subtract. And this will become three. The same way here, when you have zero and one, so you are you are naturally you will be getting one value from the previous digit borrow and make this as ten. Now this is bigger than that. Now you subtract from one zero when you subtract one, you will have the value one. Okay, and what you have done is borrow. You have borrowed one, and your difference is one. So that is what here we see zero and one. Difference is one. The difference is one, and you borrowed one. Suppose you have one and zero. Okay, so here you are not borrowing anything because this is a bigger number. So one minus zero, it is one, and you are not borrowing anything. Just nothing but borrow is zero, and difference is one. Now, when both are one, what you do? Difference is zero, and you are not borrowing anything. So that is what here. Perplex. Difference is zero and borrow is zero. Okay, now if you see the how to, we will check this uh, output with our circuit diagram. Now, if you draw the equation, you can find wherever the one is there. So, in difference, you have this one in this combination A bar B. That's what we have written. And here A B bar. So, you know this famous equation. This is nothing but XOR gate equation, isn't it? When there are odd number of ones, you have one output. When there is even number of ones, you have zero output. Then for borrow, you can write A bar B. So if it is A bar, zero means it is one, okay? A bar B, you write this. So one into zero, it is zero. One into one, you have one. Here it becomes zero. A bar means it becomes zero. Zero into zero, zero. Zero into one, it is zero, okay? So this is the equation. Now we'll see, uh, uh, drawing of this uh, for this equation, we are going to draw this logical circuit. So let us see how to do that. So this is our circuit. Just let me see. So one XOR and one AND gate where the AND gate A, A input will be complemented and given as the input for the AND gate. So this is what we are going to draw. So I'll take an XOR gate and then an AND gate. 
this is our P. And we give an input. And for this, A is complemented, isn't it? According to our equation, bar O is A bar B. So we have to use the negation. Then P. Now this is your difference. This is your difference. This XR is your difference. Let us take an LED. And what is this bar? Okay, so now we'll check the output. For 0, 0, both are 0. Difference is 0, bar is 0. When A is 0 and B is 1, we have both difference and borrow to be 1. When A is 1 and B is 0, you have difference 1 and borrow 0. When both are 1, we have both difference is 0 and borrow is also 0. 